We take to the streets to find out what Singaporeans want most this Christmas. And what they really don't want for Christmas. Follow City Joe Damik as he discovers one-of-a-kind Christmas trees with touching stories to tell. And a beautiful end to our special Christmas edition to bring a sparkle to your eyes and a tickle to your heart. Oh, hi! Welcome to our Christmas edition of SG Now. Merry Christmas, everyone! Hey, Evelyn, I really like my little Santa Claus hat. It's very cute, right? And look at me, I'm all decorated like a Christmas tree. Oh, but do you know who you remind me of? No. You know Dasher and Prancer and Dancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donna and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glowed. It glows. Okay, <laughs> to kick off our Christmas episode tonight, City Joe Abby and her fellow City Joes went to the streets all over Singapore to find out what they want most for Christmas this year. Check it out. Hello, hello! Christmas is just around the corner and the Christmas decorations are up, Christmas music playing everywhere and the Christmas presents are ready! Oh, actually I haven't bought the presents for my friends and family. <laughs> but what should I get them? What if they don't like the presents that I get for them? <laughs> well, that's why we are out to find out what people want for Christmas. Is it phone, IT gadget, bag, wallet, chocolate, snacks, coats, girlfriend, boyfriend, pet? This is uh, off a list that I got from Google about what people want for Christmas. So today, me and my city Joes are out on the streets to find out. Okay. Actually, I want a, an iPhone, like an, like an iPhone 11 Pro. So you chose a pet. Why a pet? Because I have lots of pets, I would like another pet to keep them more company. And what pet do you want? A frog. <gasps> Are you okay with a frog? I'm not really. This is the first time I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can meow. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Why did you choose this one? Uh, I see all the social media, I see all the friends, all my friends' story. All together, I feel very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think of any uh, best Christmas present ever received? Family itself is the best gift you can have. <laughs> I think gatherings itself, it's a, I know it's a non-tangible item, but it, to me, it's a great present. A bike. Why is that the best one? Because every other thing is smaller. <laughs> Car. Car, you receive a car? Yeah, a car from my ex girlfriend. Wow! So, in your memory, is there a worst present that you've ever received? Uh, oh, yeah, I received like a shirt in the wrong size that I couldn't wear. <laughs> Ornaments? Like a notebook. Because, like, nobody uses notebooks anymore. So, I was like, what am I going to do with this? Uh, a cup. It's a couple cup when I'm single. If you can have one Christmas wish this year, any wish at all, what would you want? Like my family or healthy. Yeah. My most immediate concern is make sure that my, my mom is well. That wish would be to see my grandpa again because he just passed away. Covid needs to go, we all want to travel and then like we also, our jobs are also like taken away from us. In a holiday, I don't have a homework to do. Like everything, I want to be rich, like a, like getting a house or something. Strike Toto, of course. Strike Toto plus one. Yeah, World Peace. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at our board, no surprises. Most adults choose phone or ID gadget. And most little ones, and also some adults choose pets. Yay! But I think uh, one thing that's very heartwarming is that when we ask them what do they want for Christmas, 
most of them are wishing good health for their families or just be able to see their families again. And really in the past two years, we've learned that there's nothing more important than your loved ones being healthy and happy. So everyone, here's wishing you good health, happiness, and may you be always surrounded by your loved ones. Merry Christmas from all of us here at Singapore One. This is City Joe Abby from Singapore One. So as Abby says, no surprises there. Phones and gadgets tops the list. That's right. And a pet was a close second. But please, everyone, if you want to give someone a pet as a gift, remember, a pet is not just for Christmas. That's right. They are not toys, but loving companions for life. They are not gifts that will end with the celebration, but will continue to live with us and give us joy and will depend totally on us to love and care for them responsibly. Darren's right. They are indeed forever friends. So what's the number one gift that most people do not want for Christmas? Uh, for me, my worst gift for Christmas was the repeat of the same gift. Oh. <laughs> what about yours? Oh, mine is an overcooked and very dry turkey. Wow. Okay, let me clarify that. Um, that turkey was not done by me, okay? Hey, hey who else makes turkey? Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find out what people on the street think is the worst Christmas gift for them in our 1 by 30 segment. What do you not want for Christmas? I don't want to gain weight. One fox. <laughs> Boxing gloves. Oh, uh, piece of charcoal. <laughs> letter from the LTA. Tron. I don't want calories. <laughs> Foot ailment. Another set of hand lotion. Do not want a lonely Christmas anymore. The bad ending for this year. I don't want to have any money problems. I want to be rich. The first thing that came to my mind is durians because I'm not a big durian fan. Towels and bed sheets because I get them all the time. Like spending too much time at home. I want to go on my friends for Christmas. So. I guess I don't need uh, socks, you know. A sock-free Christmas would be great, I think. More clothes. I have a lot of clothes at home already and I don't wear most of them. Maybe I don't want to get uh, myself ill or sick. I definitely want to be well and enjoy Christmas, you know. I don't look at COVID. COVID. More COVID cases. I don't want COVID for Christmas. Don't want COVID. What I not like for Christmas is a new mutation of the virus. Maybe I don't want a, a new COVID wave. I do not want Omicron. <laughs> because I want to go to LA in June. I don't want to cancel my tickets. Expensive, 1.7k. I do not wish any harm on anybody around the world during this COVID time. I do not want uh, any of our our fellow human beings to suffer anymore. Well, for Christmas, I do not want to see quarrels, fights. Yeah, I want everybody to be happy on Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. You see, there you go. Socks, they are the least favourite gift. Mm -hmm. Well, socks and COVID. I'm sure Santa will wear his mask, sanitise his hands and practise safe distancing when he delivers the presents to everyone's home this year. I agree most with the people who said they don't want to see any more fights and quarrels and wars this Christmas. Wouldn't that be the greatest universal gift this year? It will be a precious gift at any time of the year. Very true. And speaking of gifts, we have a bit of a special treat coming up in a while. Mm. Now, for now, let's talk Christmas trees. Apparently, this tradition of the Christmas tree originated in 16th century Germany when devout Christians brought trees into their homes and decorated them. While most Christmas trees, whether big or small, real or artificial, look more or less the same. So, City Joe Darmic has tracked down 10 trees that are definitely more unusual than most. Hey guys, as Christmas is creeping in closer to us, we are all searching for that perfect Christmas tree or have started decorating ours. Now, we are here at Marina One today because I want to check out 10 unique Christmas trees all with stories to tell. These trees were set up by the Disabled People's Association and why don't we go and check it out? Will you share the process behind making one of the trees? Alright, um, DPA 
collaborate with Tomasic Polytechnic, the uh, volunteers, they actually uh, did a lot of work for us. And we as a RA, we actually also get involved in it. You know, the face, the plate, we paint it, we help them to paint, cut the fabric to make the eye, all the, the rest of the item. All these items are actually is from a sustainable recycled materials. So when we were working with the students from the Thomasic Polytechnic Green Interest Group, uh, we had to adapt and overcome a couple of challenges. One is that um, when we uh, used some of these materials, um, some of them were very heavy, and that posed some structural integrity issues. Um, so we had to modify the designs and uh, make sure that we incorporated them in a, in a very beautiful and successful way. All right, this tree is me. I am Iskanda. I am a person diagnosed with bipolar type 2. Inflexibility uh, bounds me in such a way that I'm restricted by my own emotion. So like you say, yes, people can say lah, roller coaster, very happy, up, down, up, down. Uh, but this up, down, up, down, right, it actually binds me. Uh. So you come to see behind, this roller coaster trick of mine uh, leads to nowhere. Uh. So these leaves are my efforts to branch out from my feelings, my emotions, to be alive, to feel the wind. Okay, so this is a very special tree. This special tree talks about DPA and why words matter. This is newspaper, as you can see. The old phrase, which is stronger, the pen or the sword. DPA wants to advocate about this ability that we are all equal. We are all the same. Don't see us through the lens of a person with disability. Or rather, see us as a person first, then disability second. What changes I like to see is, uh, I like to see educate people to become more inclusive. For example, like don't stare at us. Okay? And try to help them if they need any help. And before they want to help them, please ask them whether they need any help or not. Oh, yeah. Yes. Is there anything you want to share with our viewers? Uh, I hope that the people who support DBA I hope that the people who DBA Because DBA is not a business company. It helps everyone to use the word. 用者的需要，还有我也希望大家共同、共同的心虚跟我们的包容大使一起讨论。This tree is about social inclusion, and what about social inclusion? It's about the fact that a lot of times people with disabilities are left out of social gatherings. When I was in year one of poly, I, hanged, I hung around this group of people who claimed to be friends, right? But here's the thing. They would hang around for, I assume, like three months avoiding me. And they would go out, have fun, watch movies. And I, would, I was in the, completely in the dark about all this, you know? I understand the pain that you feel when you just get pushed aside because you're not convenient for them. That's an important thing. Why do that? So someone else have to be convenient for you to hang out with them? There may not be a Christmas gift waiting under one of these trees on Christmas Day, but what they have is better than any gift. What they represent is change in the society that we live in. And if you want to play even the tiniest part to help out, maybe consider donating a tree. Or if just come down and check it out. Or you can take part in any of DPA's future campaigns. Just try your best, do what you can. With that said, this has been Siri Joe Darmic for Singapore One. Thanks, Darmic. You know, I love the way each of those trees tell a story about its creator. Yeah, it makes them even more beautiful, isn't it? So be creative to use recycled materials like that. Heads off to the disabled persons or rather, Disabled People's Association of Singapore and the volunteers from Tomasic Polytechnic. As Kai and Shada have mentioned in our previous episode, SG now will now be adopting one charity each month to highlight their work. 
Our inaugural charity for December is the Disabled People's Association or DPA. Their mission is to build a fairer society where the disabled community can participate in all aspects of life, from education to employment and to becoming fully socially integrated. City Yodamik has been to some of their fundraising activities this month. We just shared our story on their unique Christmas trees, and now we're going to join seven talented persons with disabilities as they perform to Christmas carols. Hey guys, today we'll be talking about a Christmas caroling event, but this isn't any Christmas caroling event. This event features the DPA Melodians. They have overcome COVID restrictions by going online and having Zoom concerts. I think we should go and meet them. Let's go! I was lucky enough to be able to attend one of the practice sessions for an upcoming event. And I've got to say, their musical talents are extraordinary. I had the Department of Training and Inclusion Ambassadors, so our Inclusion Ambassadors were always uh, very keen to learn uh, music, uh, singing, and uh, they wanted to play the musical instruments. So uh, this was always in our uh, back of the minds. And then uh, DPA, Disabled People's Association, approached FMC in September 2019 to train our Inclusion Ambassadors to sing and play musical instruments. So they happily agreed, and uh, we started in September 2019 this collaboration and then um, we set up a team DPA Melodians and within uh, 12 weeks we were ready for a Christmas carol. We had our first public performance at Marina One in December 2019. Faith Music Center team trained us to sing and to play the instruments. Yeah. They are Melissa, Melissa Alvin and Jenny are our lead trainers. So, uh, unfortunately, the funny story is that they started their first lesson uh, in March, and then all of a sudden we went to circuit breaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we had to um, pivot, and then all our lessons had to move on to Zoom. And then after the circuit breaker, we managed to come back again for our face-to-face -face lessons. Okay, I want to know how can the viewers help out um, EPA for events like this, like you know, future. Oh, they can donate by uh, giving that SG. Giving SG, okay. Or they can volunteer with us. Through our partnership with DPA and with support from SG Enable as well, um, the IAs came in, they had the choice, uh, they had a chance to choose the instruments that they want to, and then um, they started their music training in uh, 2020, March. The training is very fun for the Christmas uh, carol, and we have a few music which FMC uh, choose for us, and we have to practice and practice and practice. And then uh, we, at last we make it with a full rehearsal and we share for the Christmas joy. DPA hopes to raise awareness and promote inclusion. People with disabilities should be given opportunities to pursue their interests and passion. We look forward to your support to build a more inclusive society for all. So how do the DPA Melodians give back to society? We learn music and we work with FMC and other inclusive bands to spread joy and cheer for everyone. After the seeing the IAs use their musical talents and voices to make a change in society to be more inclusive, I think I should do my part and you should too. I mean, why not? With that said, this is City Joe Dharmic, and I'm off. Bye. If you are interested to know more about DPA and wish to make a donation or volunteer with the DPA, you will find the links in the description below. And now, it's time for that special Christmas treat that we have promised earlier. From us all at SG Now to all of you.
until he appeared, and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary soul rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. joining us on this special edition of SG Now. Yes, wishing you and your family a blessed Christmas. Oh, bless